election is over and the Andhra Pradesh state assembly election is got over. One year of uh, YSR CP rule in Andhra Pradesh has been completed and in this one year there are so many things that the state and citizens of the state are facing with, re with respect to human rights, constitutional rights, and democratic rights. So we gave a comprehensive report detailing all of these things, focusing on some of the things like the destruction of democratic institutions, whether it's the election commission, the high court, and the comments that the state government has been making on the high court and the justices of the high court, the attempt by the state government to remove the legislative council for no, no particular reason other than political expediency. The law and order situation in the state where opposition leaders are being attacked and being tortured and being denied their fundamental uh, human rights. Uh, the major case being Mr. Achan Naidu, who is our deputy leader in the uh, assembly, former minister, who was arrested without notice, without any uh, information, in the middle of the night, like a criminal or a terrorist, the day after he had a files operation. So he's in severe pain, without the ability to take medicine or providing any medical treatment, he was forced to travel in the car for more than 22 hours, during which time the stitches have fallen out, he's been infected, and by force, uh, not because of the state government's uh, magnanimity, but because the doctor said that there's no way that you can take this person to jail. He has to be admitted to the hospital and operation has to be redone. Only then they admitted him into a hospital, into a government uh, general hospital in Guntur, which is a COVID hospital. They kept him there for two weeks and then they took him to jail. And now again, because of court order, he's been shifted to a private hospital. So this is just an example. The, type, the way that the vendetta politics are happening in the state, English. where people's uh, self-respect, their economic uh, capabilities and everything is being damaged. Attack on social media activists, anybody who's criticizing the government, all the scams that have been taking place over the last one year. The issue of our capital, Amarauti, and the ridiculous idea of making three capitals in the state when we can't even afford one. A state which is reeling from financial, lack of financial resources, taking a scheme like this, saying three capitals is going to bankrupt the state even further and be a permanent liability for the state. And uh, finally, uh, the legal agreements, whether it's with uh, uh, the power purchase agreements with power producers or whether it's with the farmers of Amarauti, with which they have a legal agreement to develop that as a capital city. This government has absolutely no respect for legal contracts or law and order. The report has given a full comprehensive uh, list of incidents and uh, examples on where all of these things have gone wrong. So that's what we said.